I have a diamond ring. The customer wants to add two stones per side. Uh, I have already taken one uh, 2.8 millimeter setting and uh, one 1 1.7 millimeter setting because uh, it's tapering. So I've done one, as you can see, I have in the clamp, I have two more and I put some flux on here to heat it up some so I can get the to accept it okay so there we go so now I'm going to get some 18 karat hard solder and I'm going to solder this out here we go you can see my fingers on the clamp I used to steady my hand and I come in here and solder it. On this side, it acts as a, as a heat sink for me so I don't melt the prongs. And the heat never gets around to the back side, so it's soldered. So that takes care of the second set. Now I'm going to take the ring and I'll take boric acid and alcohol. I'm going to put the ring in the clamp. Going to make sure it's level because it helps in as I'm eyeing to solder the, the stones in. So now I'm going to take 14 karat white gold solder. And I'm going to solder it in the first location of the biggest head, which is closest to the center. So I'm going to put a little flux on it. And there it goes. It's soldered. Solder flow. Now I'm going to take what I soldered together with the largest head up on top. I'll put some flux on it. Now I'm just basically tacking these so that I can make sure that they are both uh, they're both where I want them. So here I am again. Try not to drop it this time again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hot. And the solder just started to flow. So now I'm getting the So I'm gonna to check to see the angle, see how it looks. And they're actually angling down, so that's no good. So I'm gonna turn around. And that's pretty good. So I make sure that's that's pretty much where I want it to be. That looks pretty good. What will what will uh, be able to help me to see whether or not it's right or wrong is when I put the other side on and then I eye it to see how it looks. So now I'm going to put some flux on here. I'm going to take some 14 karat white gold easy solder. Here we are continuing. My phone rang, so I had to stop. But I'm going to go ahead and solder the second set on now. Bring my torch in. I've already applied the solder. So I'll take a look at it now. I think it's still crooked. Yes, it's angling down. Look at what the other one's doing too. So I can 
make the changes that are necessary. And so let's see what that looks like. Well, that looks good. And that one looks pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna go back and change the first one a little bit to make sure that they look the same. And of course the whole thing moves. So that one's straight, that one's straight. So I've got to let it go ahead, cool it off. And then I'm going to check to see about soldering the rest of it. I've gone ahead and uh, checked my angles of my heads. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and solder it out, complete the job. The first thing I'm going to do here is put some flux. I'm gonna solder it there and I'm gonna solder it at the end also uh, so the heads will never come off. So at any rate, the, the first one I'm soldering is down the shank here a little bit. So I'm going to put my solder right up in there while I'm heating it. And there it goes. So just float it right along the edge of the head. Now I'm going to come up here on the inside on a prong. And just flow that. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to put some flux on. And so I'm going to heat the shank. So I'll flow it up along the head. There we go. So that's on. You have to go in and out very quickly. Once that solder, solder starts to flow, now I'm going to attach it to the uh, to another prong also in that way. And there we go, we got it. So the heads are all secured really well. So I'll let it be in the acid. I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead and sand the prongs down lower so that they're a tighter fit to the mounting, and then I'll set the stones. Of course, I'll show you a finished picture. And that takes care of it.